HF, Plainfield North, HF, HF with the early lead, Plainfield North and Belleville West, it's still HF in the all red there in the middle, and the next exchange, still HF, and Plainfield North running hard, let's see what happens when we give the stick to Marcellus Moore, and we're underway, oh, and look at that, HF, Lost it. That gives an advantage. Here comes Marcellus Moore. The playing field pulverizer comes from behind with a 42. Okay, so we're at the 2019 Norm Armstrong Invitational Belleville West. I'm here with Kaz Cozy, who set a PR in 3200. Yep. What was your time? It was like, I don't know, it was like 9.45, 46. So walk us through your race. Um, how so, it all went down. So honestly, I started out, I was uh, kind of just staying with Max because I knew he was fast. Uh, he took off about like halfway through the race and I kind of just chilled with the lead pack. And as I kind of stretched out, I held, I just didn't like, I held a little back, staying with those guys. And then the last, I think 600, I started to kick it in. So just kind of a sit and see where it goes from there and try to let yeah. the other guys string it out for you. Yeah. And take a fast pace. Yeah, just like that. Well, it seemed like it worked out pretty well. How much of the PR was it for you? Uh, I mean, going off my cross country time from last year was 10.03, or my track time from last year was 10.03, so it was a pretty big PR, but uh, in cross country, I ran a 9.51 at state for my two mile split, so today was uh, Eldrick Suriano's Centennial Chargers. <laughs> Walk us through your race. He just won his first section of the 110 meter high hurdles. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. Well, uh, I started kind of slow out of the blocks, but I just, I just kept to my train. I just, you know, kept three stepping. I never, you know, let up, so that was good. Cameron Kirkpatrick here. He threw 135 in the discus so far, and he's heading into finals. Walk us through what's going on over there. Um, you know, there's a pretty good t competition over there. Actually, there's some, uh, some kids who are really throwing pretty far, and uh, it's feeling good today, so I'm looking to get another good throw and maybe come out on top. What's your ranking right now going into finals? Right now I'm in second place, not too far behind first place. And we're underway. Moore set this record two years ago as a freshman. Marcellus Moore has the lead. Marcellus Moore, 8, 9, 10. Gets his record and sets a new one at 10.36. Yeah. Yeah. This is his third of the Most of the field are there. Moore at 10.36. Holton McCoy, 10.60 run. Collinsville, 10.79. Mark O'Keefe, everybody jockeying for second. It was still O'Keefe. He was at 56 when he passed through the first 400. Does he still have it in the tank? O'Keefe, let's bring him home. On, Manuka, Go now. Alton Senior, Manuka, O'Keefe, 147, 148. On, Go, Go, Go. The record will stand, but O'Keefe. We'll get in very close to it. They screwed it, they're the first ones away. So they made as good as they could for lane number eight.
is through on Rensselaer and Pfeiffer, Edwardsville. Here comes the forerunner, Paskey of Lockport Township. Pretzler and Piper. Golden Pretzler, 423, 429. Okay, so we're here with Jermarian Stewart of Collinsville. He's had four races today. Yes. Open 100, open 200, and the 4x1 and the 4x2. Yes, sir. So, how did the day go through? How was it um, jumped in between the races and all that? The 4x1 is absolutely trash. We got disqualified because I was too, you know, when people say in their bag, I literally had it in my bag. And I just lost my bag. And so that got taken. And the 100, I could have been more, I don't know, I could have been more, I don't know the word, powerful. That's the word. And I had moved my box kind of far back from the line so I wouldn't be bunched up, which I should have left them forward. And which got me third. And then in the two, I feel like I did really good. I came out of the box strong. I had a clear mindset. Fresh off the off the little roller thing, getting a massage. So I felt good coming into the two. So it was really just working through the whole day that got you the 200 to do well in it. Exactly. A lot of a lot of mental people think track is physical. Which it is, but it's more mentally than anything. So do you feel like uh, it gave you a lot of advantage today to run with Marcellus in those races? It did. It's always a really good like run when I'm with him because I know that you have to train with the best to be the best. And that's all I can ask you to be the best and to be half fun at this. And honestly, that's what I would say. Do you and Marcellus have uh, more of like a rivalry being like the two of the best juniors? Is it more of like a friendly competition? No, it's, it's more of a friendly thing because when we went to New Mexico to run for Team Illinois, it was really fun. I had a lot of fun and it was like we were on the same relay, so it was kind of like crazy. But everyone acts like it's that like my biggest rival. No, it's like more of a friend thing, friend competitive thing. So you've gotten to know each other really well and work together. Yes, we have. Um, so have you started looking at uh, universities? No, I honestly don't know where I want to go. I know I want to be like a doctor, OBGYN or something like that, okay. but I have no clue as to what school I want to go. Well, they'll probably just all come looking for you. I, I, And that's what's been happening, so I'm kind of like, hmm, I don't so, know. So uh, what's next for you? Are you looking to maybe in the next meets still keep like a four races for the week type thing? Or you're just going to maybe some meets maybe have one race, take it a little bit easy? Or what's the plan? I think some meets I'm going to just take it slow and just, I don't know, just focus on like me getting my speed up. And some meets I think I'm just going to go all out and be strong. So are we gonna see you in the 400 all this year? Or? Maybe. I, that's 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 a big that's the mental thing. Maybe at a meet or two, just to see where you are. Just to see where I am. Yeah. Hey, Roland Prenzer. So you just got first in the 1600. Yeah. What was your time again? Uh, it's 427.01. How did it feel running that race? Um, it was a bit quick starting out as a 65. I just thought that that would be what I was supposed to hit for all three of the first laps and see what I had on the fourth one. But um, it lacks a bit to a 66 on the second lap and a 67 on the third and fourth. So it was a little bit uh, slower than I thought it would be, but just coming out of the gun, I knew that I had to take the lead if it was going to be anything close to what I wanted to. So um, knowing that I took the lead, it was a bit faster than it could have been had I just sat. But, uh, you know, there's always next week, and there was, I had a 1.8 second PR, ran 2.011 in the 4x8 earlier. So, you know, I'm, I'm not disappointed, but there's a lot of work to do, and uh, just learning how to run the 1600 better, I think, is what it is. What's next after this race? Uh, we have the 3200 Throwdown Showdown versus Granite City. Uh, Andrew O'Keefe, that's going to be next Friday. Sweet. All right. Let's go!